Hello everyone, Game Dev with Drew, and today we're going to be looking at things that are called arrays. Arrays are just variables that store many different values. Everything stores values in the in this uh, programming language. Programming languages are just everything about variables and modifying variables. It's very much like math. So let's make our first array. So let's make a var uh, r, which stands for array, equals two brackets. That's what our array is. It's just two brackets with things containing them. So let's add in two. Uh, let's add in a couple things into our array. So let's add in um, four, eight, nine, two hundred thirteen. And then we can print out our array uh, by just print using print. And you can see that this is our array. We can also add in uh, uh, chars in and see that we get C. And then we can also add in strings and say we call it string. And string is a part of it too. So let's actually... Um, I'll show you how to print each different appendix within all of this. So we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's print the um, the fifth. Let's print C out. By doing that, we just put R and then with um, brackets with five around it. So we're going to get C, right? But we get string instead. The reason why we get string is because we start our array with zero instead of one. So our this four is our zeroth appendix, then our first, then our second, then our third, then our fourth, then our fifth, which is string. You can also print in uh, different uh, variables. You can actually assign variables within your array. So we can say like var a equals um, r, uh, well, let's make it eight. Uh, so we'll just do array uh, one, and then we can do var b equals array. Um, let's make it two hundred thirteen. So we'll do three, and then you can just do um, print a plus b, and we get two hundred twenty one, which is two hundred thirteen plus eight. So isn't that weird? We can also replace our uh, variables by typing in uh, array zero is now um, let's just make it hello world because that's really simple to do and then we can print out our array you can see that it overwrites our uh, our zeroth value but you can see that uh, our zeroth value is no longer going to be 4, and it's now hello world. So that's very helpful if you want to delete information within data. So that's all I have to show you today. Thank you all so much for watching, and leave a like. Bye, everyone.